Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today we're looking at issue 77 of Die Cutting Essentials and this month's free gift we've got the Peony Perfect Art Nouveau panel. So we've got the dies here, so we've got this outline die which is going to cut uh, sort of this really decorative panel and then we've got our peony so we've got a couple of flower heads on here um, and then it's just filled in then with all those really beautiful leaves so you can use this together you can see it here so it'll fit really perfectly onto that panel and we've also got 65 plus coordinating papers and sentiments to be able to download so you've got some really beautiful papers here so I think um, I really do love these so I think I might actually have a go at printing these as well just to pop in my stash because they are really pretty so that's the free gift so let's take a really quick look in the magazine uh, so they do always have a section um, hints and tips on how to actually die cut your panel um, to get sort of the best results so that's always worth giving a read if you're not 100% sure but looking at the samples, so some really beautiful samples in here, trying to use this in lots of different ways. We've got this one here, uh, which is sort of building up that image, almost like a little bit of decoupage. Uh, again, lots of different examples using it as uh, backgrounds to create backgrounds, that's really beautiful. We've got it here, um, which has still got a lot of white space, so I'm guessing maybe that's been colored with some uh, pencils. Let's just take a look. Yeah, so the color blend pencils. So that's given a really sort of subtle look to the peonies um, and it's making it look a little bit more realistic but again lots of really great examples of the different kinds of cards you can create um, so it's showing you how to create the background um, so die cutting lots of these and this is reminds me almost sort of like old wallpaper I think it's really beautiful and especially die cutting it white and then popping it onto a colored background I think is really really pretty so here again we've got more examples using then the uh, downloadable paper and the sentiments so there's some really beautiful sentiments in here um using it as sort of tag so this is sort of the idea that i had for uh, my card today is actually using it to create a sort of a decorative element rather than a back end um, but again just looking at all of those papers they coordinate so beautifully and then adding in that gold mary card as well i think is such a great um addition to it i think it really sort of helps it stand out a lot more so that's just some examples let's take a look at what's uh, included in next month's magazine So next month we've got this pretty layering petals die set so this is a 10 piece die set uh, so it looks like you get three uh, different panels that you can layer together to create sort of full decorative petals I think these are going to be really beautiful so I love creating that uh, sort of full flower look um, it's something a little bit different but also then just using them um, sort of in different ways so really excited to see uh, when that comes see what we can create and then we've got 22 sentiments that you can download as well so again some downloadable elements there so that's just a quick look at the magazine so let's get into actually creating our card for today's video so the colour scheme that I've decided to go with today is going to be kind of these pinks into the reds. Um, so this was the colour swatch that I showed you in a previous video that I created and it's already really coming in useful because then I sort of worked out what colour scheme I wanted to go with. I've picked out my cardstock and it's really helped just kind of to decide what my card is going to look like and I'm not going to spend kind of too much time um, as I'm crafting then kind of deciding what it is I want to do and what colours I want to use because I've already picked out the color scheme um, it's that this is the palette I'm going with and this is then all I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna be using a couple of extra um, items as well so the other thing I'm gonna use is this Gemini 3d embossing folder um, so this one is called ornate lace and I thought this would be really beautiful for a background and I'm gonna be die cut um, I'm gonna be embossing then the ballet pinks this is gonna be a really lovely light background the card size we're creating today is a 5x7, so not a card that I've um, sort of made recently, but actually this panel is really, really big. Um, so we're going to be using this sort of a backing piece um, to create sort of a kind of like a banner um, flag sort of element. And then we're going to be die cutting uh, our 
flowers, our peony, and it's just going to sit inside. But then you're going to have all of that ornate lace um, just sort of along the side. So let's get started. So first of all, let's do our um, little bit of embossing. So I'm going to pop this into the embossing folder and I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. So now that's gone through the die cutting machine. So you can see all of that really beautiful detail. So it has sort of cracked slightly in some areas, but I'm not really going to be kind of too worried about that. But what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of colour just really lightly on top, just to help kind of um, pick out some of this extra detail. So I'm going to come in with a little bit of sponge sugar. So I'm going to use the dobber instead of my blending brush, just because I really lightly just want to add a tiny bit of colour just on this raised section. But hopefully you can see it's just kind of highlighting that detail. Okay, so there we have our really beautiful background and we've got then that really nice sort of white border uh, around the back. So next I want to add in then our panel. So here I'm going to bring in then that cherry red for a really sort of dark contrast. So I've also cut a piece of blossom pink and I'm actually going to run this through the die cutter machine at the same time. Okay, so now we have two of these um, background pieces. Okay, so now we're going to add our panel onto uh, the card base. So I've lined up my card with the lines on my grid mat. And we can add that on there. That would be so beautiful if you just added a sentiment to the middle. I think that's a really beautiful background. So now we're going to add in our first panel. And then I'm just going to slightly sort of overlap it. Just so it kind of looks a bit like a shadow. Okay, so we've just added our two panels together. So these are going to sit really beautifully on there. So I'm just going to trim the top of this down. And then that can sort of just sit in line there. So now we've kind of got those elements done. So now what I want to do is actually die cut our panel just so we can add some of these peonies on. So I've got just a little bit of plain white card here. Just going to add some washi tape just to hold this in place. And then again, we're going to run this through the die cutting machine. So you can see kind of just how beautifully that has die cut. But what I want to actually do is keep this um, sort of in here just for the moment so you can see it just pops back in really easily and I have then die cut a second one as well um, because I'm actually going to be trimming off this bottom section and I'm just going to be adding more of these peonies but what I wanted to do was just add a little bit of uh, colour kind of beforehand um, and I thought it would be easier then to keep it in the paper because it is quite delicate in some areas Okay, so I've picked out um, two colours, so we've got a uh, red here, so I'm going to be using my Copics for that, and then I'm going to be using this magenta blend in the Spectrum Noir uh, for the sort of pink elements. So what's really great about these die cuts is you have sort of these little, um, you know, sort of pieces die cut out from it, but you also have then kind of the outline um, of where all of the uh, sort of petals would be. So it's just kind of added that extra bit of detail and it's gonna make it a lot easier for us to be able to add some color. So I'm gonna start off with my reds. So for my reds, I've got our 24 uh, 27 and 29 so I'm going to start off with 
uh, to begin with at the top and I'm just sort of seeing um, where these petals are and I'm just going to kind of add uh, that sort of detail exactly how I would normally um, if I were uh, colouring in my images. So I'm just going to go along, I'm just going to add some of that detail. So I'm just being careful because I'll see I want to still give all of that definition um, to the petals. And you kind of need to, like I said, just sort of look um, and see exactly where those lines are to kind of give that detail. So we've done our colour in there, so uh, I did obviously start with that bit of pink, but I'll be honest, I didn't really like how it came out, um, so I just decided to do them all in red, um, and I'm just literally going to cut that one off. Uh, but if we bring our card back, okay, so we're going to add some foam pads to the back of this. So I'm just going to add a bunch of squares and this is just going to give it a nice bit of dimension. Okay, so I've got all of the foam squares uh, off the back. So what I want to do is I'm going to line up sort of this piece first. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to trim uh, So I'm actually going to trim that piece as well So this piece is going to kind of be mirrored to that piece and then hopefully hopefully then we can just sort of line up those uh, two in the middle because then we've got like the stems kind of underneath and that's sort of lined up really nicely. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of dimension to our banner. our banner to the card. So the last thing we've got to do is just to add a sentiment to our card. So I've picked out the beautiful butterflies. This came with the previous issue 76. Um, and we've got the hello die here. Uh, so we've got that shadow die as well, so the background, and then we've got the actual hello itself. So the hello, I'm gonna die cut from some of this fuchsia cardstock just to carry on with our um, colour theme. And I've got just a little piece of vellum here, uh, which I'm gonna cut the background from because I don't really want to, because I think I'm gonna pop it 
uh, up here and I really still want you to be able to see through it um, I don't want to sort of hide everything that we've already done so I'm just going to use a little piece of washi tape just to hold this down so you can see that it's really easily come out of uh, the dye so we've got our shadow there we go so let's just pick out all of those inside pieces so there is our lovely sentiment so we're just going to use the dotty tape pen to add some adhesive to the back of this sentiment make sure we get those ends as well let's just get that in place on our background so I think I'm gonna add it down here at the bottom so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of adhesive Hopefully you can't really see that. And there we have our really lovely sentiment. So I'm just gonna add a handful of clear Nouveau drops. kind of around the design just to add a little bit of embellishment and that is our card finished and I think it just sort of comes together so beautifully so you've seen that we've kind of adapted this uh, panel die that you have and um, we've kind of adapted the actual big you know floral die as well so we've just cut that down sort of re um re kind of positioned it and then just pop in an easy embossing folder behind it really is just going to add some interest to the background um, and then of course just a super easy sentiment as well so that's it for this video if you do like this card then please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below just to remind you this is using the die cutting essentials free gift um, and this is issue 77 if you aren't currently subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads um, so that's it for today thanks very much for watching and happy crafting